thank you for joining us for the latest news where you live. I'm Joe Ellison. One day after the president revealed his student loan relief plan, reaction among Americans is split, mostly along party lines. We have more on what kind of debt forgiveness people with student loans can expect. Skylar Henry has the latest from Washington, D.C. Student loan borrowers and supporters celebrated President Biden's forgiveness plan Thursday morning in Washington. I mean, I am just overwhelmed that 20 million people aren't going to have student loan debt anymore. The president is delivering on his campaign promise, erasing $10,000 in federal student loan debt for those with annual incomes below $125,000 or couples earning less than $250,000. Now the next step for many of the people here and millions of other borrowers is to figure out how to actually get the relief. The government says it has income information for about 8 million borrowers. What you need to do is go to studentaid.gov slash debt relief. You are going to be waiting for information and you will have to fill out a form. That means about 35 million people who don't have income information, go do it. And even if they have your information, do it anyway. While the plan is moving forward, Republicans are denouncing it as an insult to those who chose not to take on debt. And then there's many other people who took out loans and paid them off. So don't you feel like a sucker now that Biden's coming to do this? Some critics of the president's plan are concerned the new spending power for borrowers will drive up consumer prices even more. Now that was Skylar Henry reporting. Thousands of Arkansans are among the many Americans about to have some of their student loans wiped out. The question today is, what happens to the forgiven student loan debt? Arkansas economists tell us it doesn't just disappear. Debt relief like this from the federal government means there are three ways it can be financed. Higher taxes, cutbacks on other government programs, or adding to the already existing federal debt. This will help students in debt in the long term. Economist Michael Paco does doesn't believe the loan forgiveness plan, though, will have much of an impact on the economy. This isn't actually going to put additional money, spending money, in the pockets of those borrowers. Expected to have a $300 billion price tag, and Paco says close to 400,000 students in Arkansas have student loan debt. That amounts to more than $13 billion forgiven just in our state. Now, after the president announced his administration's plan for that student debt forgiveness, Governor Asa Hutchinson released a statement on what he thinks. Take a look. You can see his statement right here. The governor said, quote, broad student loan forgiveness is a misuse of executive authority. Now, Hutchinson went on to say, quote, if President Biden wanted to provide relief to Americans with student loan debts, he could work to permanently lower interest rates instead of across the board forgiveness. All right. Now, before we get to some other news where you live, let's get a check of the weather with meteorologist Zach Scott. Hey, Zach. Hey, Joe. We've got temperatures slowly creeping up as we've gone through the work week. We're topping out on our Thursday in the upper 80s for northwest Arkansas and into the upper 80s and lower 90s for the River Valley. River Valley Wednesday topped out at 90. We're a couple degrees warmer today uh, for our warmest locations. We're also factoring in a little bit more mugginess. It'll feel like the mid 90s, 94, 95 degrees with some of the uh, the heat indices out across the River Valley. Another comfortable night, not quite as cool as Thursday morning where we bottomed out in the lower 60s, but more 60s and 70s. We're overall dry here for the next few days. Rain chances, they're trying to creep in for Saturday. Right now, they're low. We're holding off, but certainly some scattered showers are going to be possible as we heat up on Sunday, and then scattered showers are more likely to be around as we go into next week. Tropics have been quiet, but something we're watching, this is going to be going on for a week or so, uh, but over the next week and a half, a disturbance moves moving through the Caribbean may make a run for the Gulf of Mexico, and we could, if it goes into the central or western Gulf, see it impact parts of Arkansas, something we'll keep our eyes on, Joe. All right, thanks so much, Zach. Well, the Uvalde School District in Texas firing its police chief over his response to the mass shooting that left 19 students and two teachers dead. The district's board of trustees voted to dismiss him, the police chief. He's accused of making several critical mistakes during the response to the shooting in May. 
Dozens of officers armed with rifles waited in a school hallway for more than an hour while the gunman carried out the shooting. He's defended his actions, telling a committee of lawmakers in Texas he did not consider himself the incident commander on scene. And Los Angeles County must pay $16 million to Kobe Bryant's widow, Vanessa. It's for the emotional distress caused by deputies and firefighters who shared photos of the 2020 helicopter crash that killed the NBA star, the couple's daughter, and seven others. The jury agreed with Bryant that the pictures violated her constitutional right to privacy. Bryant's co-plaintiff, who lost his wife and daughter, was awarded $15 million. Well, thank you for joining us here for the latest news where you live. I'm Joe Ellison. Have a great day.